So we're jumping right into what's next, and that looks so cool on Aida. It's a really simple Mandarin collar style uh, top from Denim and Company. This one is done in a really beautiful Lysel cotton and spandex blend. So it has a light denim slash linen-y look and feel to it, but beautiful detail here on the shoulders, Gary. The price on this goes up at the end of the day. So for now, it's $49.98, but if you wait until tomorrow, you're gonna end up paying more for it. Color-wise, we have dark indigo. We have the antique wash. Let me do this. Antique, dark indigo, gray, and bleach. So there's your full palette of colors. Get the one that works the best for you or is a little bit something different, maybe for your wardrobe. A 376 896 is your item number. So, Jane, Lyocell is a luxury designer yarn. Um, it's similar to Tincel. If you've ever seen or purchased or tried on a denim garment, that has either lyocell or tin cell, it doesn't feel like regular denim. It feels like silk denim. It's so gorgeous and so luxurious to put on. And usually, typically at retail, mm -hmm. it's very expensive. Um, this is a cute little classic button front top. It's got the mandarin collar with the Y front. So that again, elongates your neck. A uh, little curved hemline there, like a shirt tail hemline. But, you know, it, it's a classic, right? And what I always say, Jane, is Denim & Company is really good at taking classics and making them a little more fashionable. And so what we did was we added that really pretty lace to the shoulder. It's all dyed to match. So it's, um, it's you know, you, you can pair it back to anything you want, but it, maybe we can come in close. There we go. And look at that, how pretty that is. Just that extra feminine detail, I think, elevates this top and makes it so much more, um, you know, ele uh, relevant for your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. it, it's really pretty. And the effect of having that embroidery on the shoulder is very similar to that of an epaulette. So it gives you mm -hmm. a lift in that shoulder. Anytime you lift your shoulders, that slims your waistline. So it's a trick of the eye that is very flattering. Plus Gary put bust starts in there. So that again gives us more of a three dimensional fit, allows the garment to hit where it's supposed to. It also has a yoke detail that has a little extra fabric and shearing across the back. So if that little you know, piece of meat just kind of chunks up right there in the back from your bra. <laughs> this is going to give you a little bit more um, fabric and drape over those areas. And hopefully you'll just feel really good about the way you look all the way around. I do like this um, length of short sleeve too. It's not elbow length. It's not cap. It's right in between. Yeah, it's a nice length. I mean, you still get upper arm coverage for sure. Um, and also... This is the kind of shirt, Jane, I think you, you could easily wear on its own because it really it makes a statement. But if you wanted to treat it like a little soft shirting jacket, you could put a tank under it, a little T-shirt under it and wear it open, too. I think that would be really cute, a, a cute way to go also. Mm -hmm, I do. I totally agree. It is a semi fit. So that means it's cut to fit the lines of the body through the shoulders, as you can see on Aida, who is also tall at 5'10", wearing the small. Um, not too uh, uh, full of a sleeve, but also not like a muscle shirt either. You want to have many, you know, plenty of room to move around in. Uh, but it does fit beautifully through the bust line, that ease that we talked about through the shoulder yoke in the back, and then a shirt tail that's not like a tunic length. So it's not a long top for our petite gals. This might be a good one for you if you uh, struggle with things that are too long. A 376-896. Dark indigo wash, nope, sorry, dark indigo wash, antique wash, gray, and bleach. And that is the most limited choice. That's what Aida had on, a 376-896.